Learn to design this 3D printable kitchen rack organizer in Ansel. Create a sketch in the Park Design Workbench. Select the XY plane. Select the Rectangle tool. Draw it as follows. Add dimensions and press Enter. Right-click to exit the tool. Select these vertices in this order while holding Control. Then add a symmetrical constraint. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the pad feature. Extrude it to the upside. Now select these four edges while holding Control. Select the fillet feature. Enter a radius and click OK to apply. Select the top face by clicking on it. And select the thickness feature. Enter a thickness to the inside. Click OK to apply. Now select the new bottom face and create a sketch. Select the project geometry feature and click these two lines. Select the circle tool. Draw two circles at the horizontal axis. Make sure both end at the projected lines. Select the Dimension tool. Click the inner circle and add a diameter. Click close to exit the sketch. Select the Pad feature. Extrude it to the upside and click OK. Select this edge. And also this one. Then select the fillet feature. Enter a radius and click OK. Select these two bottom faces. Select the chamfer feature. Enter a size and click OK. Select the bottom face and click Chamfer. Enter a size and click OK. Select this top face and then Chamfer. Enter a size and click OK. Select this edge on the inside. Select chamfer, enter a size and click OK. The entire inner edge is now beveled. Select the bottom face and create a new sketch. Select the polygon tool. Draw one on the horizontal axis. Draw two above the first one. Then draw two more on the left side. Select all circles while holding control. Make them all equal by clicking this button. Now select two nearby circles. And add a tangent constraint here. Do the same for all other circles.
Select a line and make it horizontal. Do the same with this line. These circles must also be tangent. Select and drag the sketch to check fixation. Position these vertices vertically. This line must also be horizontal. It looks pretty fixed now. Select the dimension tool. Select these two center points and add a horizontal distance. Add another distance from the vertical axis. I still forgot to make these two lines horizontal. Now it's fully constrained. Click close to exit the sketch. Select pocket to cut out the shapes. Select through all and click OK. Consider subscribing if you like my content, thanks. Select the pocket you just created. Then select the multi-transform tool. Right-click here and add a linear pattern. Change it to offset. Enter an offset. Change occurrences to 6. Right-click and add another linear pattern. Select the vertical sketch axis. And select offset. Enter an offset. Reverse the direction. All holes are positioned now. Click OK to apply the multi-transform. The model has been finished. It can be perfectly 3D printed in one piece. Please stay tuned. Also check out my other channel for all my 3D printing projects and tutorials. Get commercial access to all my 3D files here to sell 3D prints and have a look at my website where everything comes together. Thanks for watching. Also check out my other videos and channels.